We're gonna do it with Lexus and we're gonna prank him that we're basically gonna fight. Like we get into a big ass argument in front of him and see what he does. Fuck me off all fucking day, bro. You've been so fucking selfish ever since you got here. Like that shit's pissing me off. I have to document this moment just in case somebody tries to run up on me and steal my stuff. I definitely hate going on trips without my boyfriend and my baby. So I just got back from the store. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got super quickly because I'm really tired and I wanna get ready for bed. Okay, first thing I got were some blue Gatorades for my boyfriend when he goes to work. I got my boyfriend a little pair of socks because I've been using all his socks because I haven't had none. So I got me and him some new socks. These are my socks. I just got some brown, I mean, some black ankle socks. These come with 12 in them. Pretty good, pretty good. And then I just got some little munchies. And this was a special request from my boyfriend. He really wanted hot Cheeto puffs. And this is the rest of the stuff I got. Next, I just got some paper towels. Okay, guys, we had to relocate our hall because these dogs apparently get the living room and I don't. I feel like I'm always spilling stuff and so is my boyfriend. We're both really clumsy. I also got me a little big ass thing of Dr. Pepper. I feel like I'm always buying Dr. Pepper from the store anyway, so I just thought to get my own. I got some of these for my boyfriend. Actually, I'll probably eat some of these too because they look kind of good. I got these for my boyfriend. This is his favorite snack. He also requested ice cream, so I got him some ice cream. These are actually my favorite ice cream, so I don't know what his favorite ice cream is, but he told me to get whichever, so I ended up getting these. And then I just got some dish soap and some new sponges because I don't know what happened to our old sponges. So I got some new little dish stuff. I bought some new cookie dough so me and Bae can make our own cookies. I got her some little wipes instant liquid formula this is the formula my baby drinks right now and then i just got her the big can of formula this is literally like 60 dollars alone baby stuff is so expensive just the stuff that i got for my baby like the diapers the wipes the pampers i don't know if i showed you guys these i got her diapers too but just all this baby stuff alone was a hundred dollars the girl don't ever have a baby if you're not financially stable. I usually don't eat candy. Whenever I do eat candy, it'll be chocolate. These are one of my favorite little chocolate candies to eat. So that's everything I got from the store. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul of my baby stuff grocery haul. This was more like a mini grocery haul because I've been telling Diego, let's go grocery shopping. And he doesn't want to, so I think I'm just going to end up having to go by myself. I'm going to put this stuff away real quick. Baby formula. Okay hey guys, so I just used my new shower cap and I really liked showering with it. I took like a quick 20 minute shower and washed my body, my face. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go to sleep right now, but I do wanna edit a little bit before I go to sleep so I can have something to post tomorrow. I've really been slacking on my YouTube game and I need to start posting again. Just because I really wanna be active in general. I like looking back on my old YouTube videos and seeing what happened in my life. Little pajama fit check. These are my pajama pants. I actually thrifted these a long time ago. And then this is my shirt. Now I'm gonna use this little cream. It's like an AHA BHA night cream. It has pretty active ingredients in it, so it works really well with my skin. So a thing at the top and I can't get it. So beautiful. I washed my face with the salicylic acid cleanser. It's actually my first time using this though. My skin is already used to AHA BHA, so I'm just hoping. I wake up with glass skin. This is also Korean Skin gear. I don't know if you can read the back of that. I just got into my car. As you can see, I'm gonna go get Chick fil A for me and my boyfriend because we're really hungry and we forgot to eat breakfast. I feel like I always forget to eat breakfast, but uh, I really need to stop doing that because that really is the most important meal of the day. Like, it just starts the rest of your meals off good. These are my bevs. I had to bring a little bev to drive. I also have this from yesterday. I wanted to finish it, even though it's 12 o'clock. <laughs> I just love me some soda. I don't know what to say. I actually haven't had Chick-fil-A in a long time, so I'm excited to get it right now. I have a new friend that I woke up with yesterday. I'm kind of feeling a little bored, so I think I'm going to tell you guys a mini story time. Maybe that was my sign not to tell it because it was going to be mischievous. It was going to be a little scandalous. Love me in public and say. I don't know if I should tell this story because it's kind of my backfire. Okay, so basically, I don't even know how to say this without getting mad. This shit really gets me mad. I need a sip. 
I'm gonna give you guys a little story time about the time that I got robbed for the 50 million time. Because I don't know why I'm just so easy to rob. My mom and my family and everybody has been staying at my mom's friend's house, but she lives on the east side. Keep that in mind because that's going to be a very important factor of this story. I'm so sad about it because I got so many important things stolen. Actually, only a couple like important things, but everything else like... Why would you steal my Sephora bag? I want to say this happened like four or five days ago. So I was staying at my mom's friend's house and she lives on the east side. Usually I'm really safe over there. I'll make sure to keep my doors locked and just make sure to not have... Make sure not to have anything important like any money or anything outside open in my car because my windows aren't tinted so people can see right through my car and they can literally see what's in my car. Unfortunately, I remember one Christmas my mom literally bought me window tint and I didn't use it. Like, girl. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's not even part of the story, but anyways. Usually, I'm really, really safe around that area because I already know it's kind of ghetto and there's, like, a lot of crackheads that be walking around there probably, probably looking for cars to rob. No shade. I had left a little bit of money on this little side cubby of my car and it was, like, no money. It was maybe, like, $7 all in ones. It was, like, no money because most of my money was in my purse with me. This was actually my fault, though, because I told my little cousin to go out to my car and get me my laptop and a hash brown out of my car. And I'm pretty sure she left my car unlocked. And from there it was wraps. I had got robbed. What? About to order me my Chick-fil-A. Second one, can I do a Chick-fil-A deluxe? So back to my little story I was telling y'all. It was kind of my fault because she's only nine years old. But I be thinking she's like 12 or 13. I don't know why. I literally think she's older than she actually is. But she's literally only nine or ten years old. I didn't even think to ask her like did you lock my car back up? Because I thought she automatically knew like girl we in the ghetto. You need to lock that shit up. So I ended up leaving with my friend because my baby was with her dad. So it was just me. And my friend came and picked me up. And I think we went to a bunch of stores in the gym. So I was gone for a long time. And I'm pretty sure when I was gone with my friend was when my car was getting robbed. <laughs> basically my story time of the day i'm so sad because they took my old phone which basically had all my memories of deliza when she was first born just like all the first pictures of her like the first four months of her life stolen it was my old phone and i had it for a really long time too i think i had it for like two years and it lasted me a really long time and it had so many pictures and videos on there of deliza i'm just so sad because i can never get those pictures back it just makes me so sad they also took some of my pr packages they took my whole ass sephora bag i don't know if you guys seen me post this on Instagram but everything in this picture they took all I had to do was make sure my car was locked before I left and I would still have on my stuff but it's okay because I learned that I should just be grateful for everything I still do have because luckily my laptop wasn't in there my camera wasn't in there my new phone wasn't in there my iPad wasn't in there they didn't really rob me that bad because I didn't have that much stuff in here bro I literally had like this three tier organizer from Target and it was really tall. They straight took that shit. Like what are you even gonna do with that? What are you gonna organize? And it just makes me mad because I had so much stuff in my car. So I really don't even know what was in there. I don't know what was in my car that they took because everything is already gone, you know? But anything valuable I could have had that I didn't know about, gone, bitch. Now I'm trying to think like what did they take, bro? Because I had so much stuff in here. <sighs> And I feel like it's always me. I be trying to just go to the gym, be productive, and meanwhile, I'm getting robbed my whole ass car. No, because what is this song right now? Hey, fuck it up. Hey, fuck it up. About to get my Chick-fil-A right now, so thank you guys for watching my story time. I'm still mad. So, whichever crackhead took my shit, honestly, I'm hoping you use it for something good, something positive to change the community. And I had just got a brand new PR package with like a bunch of little beach essentials. It was like a beach bag, a beach towel, sunscreens, a beach blanket. I'm not really mad they took that because I feel like they probably need that. So, I mean, you could have my blanket. I'm about to text my boyfriend, tell him I'm almost done with the drive-thru. This was a long-ass drive-thru line. Like, I was really chopping it up with y'all. Oh, wait, do you guys have a drink carry? Drink carry, yeah. I'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, have a good day. Okay, now I'm gonna go to the store and get pads real quick because I started my period today and I'm really mad about it. Actually, I'm glad, but I'm mad if you get what I'm saying. My period really hurts like the first couple days, maybe like the first three, four days. It really, really hurts. And then it starts to feel better. My bitch is bleeding. 
Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Des, if you guys are new here. I really want to go to the gym later because I haven't been to the gym in like three days and I'm really trying to be consistent because I just got my membership. I think I'm just going to get ready for the day. My baby's asleep right now, so I think I should get ready while she's asleep because I don't know when she's going to wake up. I also finished editing a new video this morning, so right now that's uploading. Hopefully, I get it up either today or tomorrow. I just don't know if I want to upload on a Saturday because that's usually not the days that I upload. I've been uploading on like whatever day I can recently because mother life has really been consuming up all of my time but I used these two products on my hair yesterday after the shower and my hair feels so freaking soft and good like it just feels marvelous I feel like my hair doesn't usually feel this good after the shower after having curly hair for over a year curly hair is so much more hard to manage than I thought because your hair just gets so knotted and tangly and knotted I don't know I've been having a lot of breakage too from my post postpartum hair loss which is actually a thing i don't know who invented that shit that's also why i had to give myself a little haircut was because my hair was kind of breaking off it was actually breaking off a lot i had to put matters into my own hands cut that shit off because i wasn't gonna let it damage the rest of my hair i'm gonna brush my hair real quick so it doesn't get super knotted like it usually does my hair gets so knotted and tangly it's actually so i just want to cut it all off sometimes I'm currently uploading my new video. Make sure you guys go watch it. I'll put it on the screen. I'm gonna start trying to edit different ways because I feel like my editing style is getting really old. I don't know, it's just really simple. I have a really simple editing style and I wanna switch it up and add more elements to it. If my next couple videos start looking a little different, it's because I'm experimenting. So don't get mad at me, don't unsubscribe. Like. Please don't unsubscribe. And then also this morning, Diego took the baby a bath because she needed one. We went swimming on the 4th of July. Right now, I think I'm going to clean up the bathroom a little bit because it's really messy. I'm just going to put everything away. These are all my clothes. Literally a hairball. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a bunch of random shit over here. Or I think we do. I think there's like a laundry mat somewhere in the apartment. But we just wash our clothes somewhere else. I'm going to put all this away, clean up a little bit. And yeah. Because this... I'm gonna put on some sunscreen real quick before I go to the gym. I picked up me and Diego some food. I just got us those little Albertson chicken wings. They're like spicy chicken wings and then the potato wedges. I just wanted to get something really quick before I go to the gym so that he's not sitting here hungry as fuck. You already know him. Loves to eat my shit. Just putting on some of this sunscreen. This is my favorite sunscreen to put on just in a rush. Whenever I have somewhere to be really quickly. It has been so hot. It's literally been a toaster where I live. I can't forget to put on sunscreen anywhere I go. Or else I'll basically burn to a crisp. I'm meeting up with my friend Arturo and his man. So I think we're going to stop somewhere and get something to eat first. And then go to the gym because it's right next to it. I haven't been to the gym in a long time. It's been three days since I've been to the gym. I need to find my headphones actually for the gym. I can't leave to the gym without those. Okay, you guys, we just got to Arturo's new apartment. We're seeing him for the very first time. I'm really excited because it looks super nice. And we're gonna do a prank on him because I've been wanting to start doing pranks, but I feel like I'm not good enough of an actor to do it by myself. We're gonna do it with Lexus and we're gonna prank him that we're basically gonna fight. Like we get into a big ass argument in front of him and see what he does. So Esmo and Yo-Yo, we're gonna see what their reaction is. I'm, I'm like collab, collab. <laughs> and basically we're gonna argue about Deliza. We're gonna say that she's been watching Deliza all day. She bought her formula, this and that. Like Alexis is tired of my shit basically. Like she's <laughs> done. done. She's done with me. Done. So I'm kind of scared. I feel like they're gonna react 
I don't know how they're gonna react at all. <laughs> Me neither, because we've never argued in front of them. <laughs> yeah, we don't argue really at all anymore. Ever since she moved to Mexico, we don't, we haven't really argued we've a matured. lot. I don't know how they're gonna react because I haven't seen our trail in maybe like a week or two. Everything happened with my foot. She got her foot bitten. Yeah, everything happened with my foot and I had like an injury, so I haven't seen him or his boyfriend. I'm kind of scared to see what they're gonna do, but... I'm scared for this acting. That's why I've never done pranks on my channels because I suck at acting and I feel like I'm gonna laugh or I'm gonna do some stupid shit and make it look real. We cannot laugh, bro. But we're basically gonna act like we're vlogging and we're gonna act like we just started arguing and like I'm gonna edit it out. I'm not scared. I'm kind of scared Wait, too. Wait, let's do a little practice. Like. I don't want them to think we're problematic or anything, but he already knows I'm not like that. Wait, but we also have to go in like natural. We can't be like, bitch, 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 bitch. Like, yeah, crazy. we're going to go in like as if I'm just vlogging his new place. We have to seem like first we're irritated with each other, but like don't just jump into it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Actor shit. <sighs> okay, should we go? Wait, let's do a practice. Let's do a practice. Okay. Basically, we're going to argue about Deliza. I don't have Deliza right now because she's with her dad. She's been with him all day, and I've just been with Lexus spending the day with her. But we're going to argue as if I've had her up until now. Yeah. So, what should we say that, like... I'm going to be like, girl, you've been irritating me. <laughs> you've been irritating me all you day. You can't smile. Okay. <laughs> Put that smile away. <laughs> we haven't told him we're here yet either, so I'm gonna text him that I'm here and then we're gonna start it once we get all the way up there. I think I'm just gonna bump into her and she's gonna get irritated. Like she's Wait, gonna I'm gonna be the crazy one. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, why are you bumping into me? Oh, and then I'm gonna be like, dude. What did you do to my camera? <laughs> you fucked up my lens, bro. <laughs> I'm kinda scared, but let's just go in there and prank them. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. Bro, don't even scare me like that. <laughs> don't even play. We just got to our trails hey, new place. He just. I'm gonna yeah. give him a little house tour. He just showed us. He's with his boyfriend right now. This is their new place. This is so freaking nice. They already put their LED lights up, their TV. They literally this live in an LA penthouse. This is our bedroom. It's a little messy right now. There's nothing here yet. Oh. Oof. It does my skin so good. Where do you get this? I like the farmacias. Our trail always has the best skincare. Every time I come here, he has hair care, skincare, just all the same shit oh, yeah. I use. I literally use this today. But it made my fucking makeup peel off. Like, <laughs> you can't be serious. This is so freaking nice, dude. Bullshit. The fact that this is three stories. A little cabinet where we watch. Okay, we'll little storage room. cabinet. This is our little studio, our gaming room. You guys actually decorated a lot for being here only by what? Tuesday? I know, this is like crazy. The lighting in here is so good. Okay. Whisper, we're in the bathroom. They're upstairs right now. We're gonna start arguing and then we're gonna try to like progressively get louder so that like they hear us. <laughs> I'm scared. We're gonna basically argue about Deliza, but I don't know, like, should I get emotional about it or should I just start yelling at you? Do you think you can make yourself cry? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, dude, don't fucking bump into me. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you had me watching Deliza all day. Why don't you be a mom? Hey, where the fuck is Deliza right now? <laughs> Okay, so after we get out of the bathroom, we're just gonna try to argue and see if they hear us. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Okay. They're still upstairs, so we're gonna hide the camera. I have my backpack. Can I see this? The lighting's Do you put my purse in front of me? This looks fun. Bitch, don't play with me. And then, bitch, you don't even fucking watch the lights. <laughs> Bro, I had a job too, girl. What am I doing washing your baby? 
fuck up. I'm sorry, guys. She's it's acting okay. weird, bro. We could have, like, okay. what the fuck are you even talking about? No, why was she selfish? Why did I even watch her baby? Like, bitch, are you dumb? Girl, you don't have no fucking kids. Girl, are you really trying to push me right now? Bro, what the fuck are you even pushing me for? It's not that serious. Bro, you literally don't do shit. Like, you sit on your phone all day. I've been here a fucking week. What do you want me to do, bro? But why are you watching if you guys want me to do any more pranks let me know down below in the comments even though this prank was so hard to do like me and alexis dead ass could not stop laughing because i couldn't look at her and not laugh because i knew we were doing a prank i didn't know how actually hard pranks were until i did one myself if you guys give me some good enough video ideas i'll probably try to prank either my mom my boyfriend my sister i'm filming this in the bathroom right now because my baby's asleep in the bedroom and i don't want to wake her up don't mind my location I'm just sitting on the bathroom floor, you know? Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys follow me on my socials. Follow Esmo, follow Yo-Yo, follow Lexis. And I'll see you guys in another video. Till next time.